Vista Seal is shipped and stored frozen and must be thawed for use. Open the blister pack containing the pre-filled syringe in the sterile field. To thaw the biologics in the syringe, place the syringe in a sterile water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Open the blister pack containing the airless spray accessory. The malleable dual lumen tip can be bent into the desired position and will retain its shape. Unscrew and discard the lure caps, making sure to keep the syringe holder upright. Lightly depress the plunger to eject excess air prior to attaching the dual applicator. Attach the VistaSeal dual applicator to the syringe holder. An audible click will indicate the device is ready for use. Connect the airless spray tip by twisting clockwise. Ensure it is securely tightened before use. The red O-ring indicator will not be visible if the airless spray accessory is securely tightened. Do not press the plunger against your body when attaching the dual applicator. It is critical that the OR team does not depress the plunger until its intended use. Do not press the plunger against the table when attaching the dual applicator. Do not attach the dual applicator before purging excess air as this can lead to compressed air that may cause an undesired continued or extended spray. VistaSeal can be applied using a drip method. Remove the airless spray tip by unscrewing it from the tip connector and keep the tip as close as possible to the tissue surface without touching it. Apply individual drops to the surface area to be treated. To prevent uncontrolled clotting, allow the drops to separate from each other and from the end of the tip. VistaSeal can also be applied using a spray method. Position the airless spray tip two centimeters or more from the target tissue. Apply firm, even pressure to the plunger to spray the fibrin sealant. Increase distance accordingly to achieve desired coverage of the target area. Note that the tip can clog if continuous pressure is not maintained. VistaSeal laparoscopic dual applicators are sold separately and are available with three airless spray tips. Loosen the gray lure nuts on the adapter by twisting clockwise and remove the open tip. Attach the VistaSeal laparoscopic dual applicator to the adapter by tightening the lure nuts and twisting counterclockwise. Attach the VistaSeal laparoscopic dual applicator and adapter to the syringe holder with pre-filled syringes. An audible click will indicate the device is assembled. The device is now ready to use. Ensure the airless spray tip is securely tightened. The red indicator will not be visible if the airless spray tip is securely tightened. Remove the airless spray tip by unscrewing it from the tip connector and keep the tip as close as possible to the tissue surface without touching it. Apply individual drops to the surface area to be treated. To prevent uncontrolled clotting, allow the drops to separate from each other and from the end of the tip. Position the airless spray tip two centimeters or more from the target tissue. Apply firm, even pressure to the plunger to spray the fibrin sealant. Not providing enough force may clog the tip. Increase distance accordingly to achieve desired coverage of the target area. 
Vista Seal is designed to deliver a rapid, adherent, and durable clot. Once spraying has stopped, a clot will form in the airless spray tip. Do not try to push hard to clear the clot. If expression is stopped for any reason, remove the airless spray tip by twisting counterclockwise. Wipe and pull away any clots from the end of the tip. With dry or moist sterile gauze, make sure you are pinching the clot and pulling away. Do not depress the clot deeper into the threaded tip connector. Visually inspect to see if the clot remains. Connect a new airless spray tip by twisting clockwise, ensuring it is securely tightened before use. The malleable tip provides precise application to challenging anatomy. This shows the malleable tip being used in a narrow spray method. This shows the malleable tip being used in a broad spray method. VistaSeal Fibrin Sealant, Human. Important safety information. Indication. VistaSeal is indicated as an adjunct to hemostasis for mild to moderate bleeding in adults undergoing surgery when control of bleeding by standard surgical techniques, such as suture, ligature, and cautery, is ineffective or impractical. VistaSeal is effective in heparinized patients. Contraindications. Do not inject directly into the circulatory system. Do not use for the treatment of severe or brisk arterial bleeding. Do not use in patients with history of anaphylaxis or severe systemic reactions to human blood products. Do not use Vistaseal for spraying unless the minimum recommended distance from the applicator tip to the bleeding site can be achieved. Warnings and Precautions Thromboembolic events may occur if Vistaseal is administered intravascularly. Only spray Vistaseal if it is possible to accurately judge the distance from the spray tip to the tissue surface. Hypersensitivity reactions can occur. May carry a risk of transmitting infectious agents, e.g. viruses, the variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, VCJD, agent, and theoretically, the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, agent. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, reported in greater than 1% of clinical trial subjects, were nausea and procedural pain. 115517-190529.